No, you're fine. All right, this is Ramblin' Rusty, take two. I forgot to hit the record, record button last time. Anyway, I'm here at Shenandoah Valley Academy. I was invited to come here by one of my former students from Richmond Junior Academy. I guess now it's called Richmond Academy. It's in a different location. I have not been to that new school yet, but we had a great time. I think when uh, Tony was going there, we had about 120 students. And I that. yeah, qu quite a few. And so uh, I was uh, had accepted a crazy job of being an administrator and I, I've learned better since then. <laughs> but I, I anyway. Do remember, I do remember visiting your office. <laughs> okay, but anyway. The reason we're here tonight is for a GROW Foundation, and Tony's gonna tell a little bit about that, tell a little bit of the history of it, and uh, what's going on, Tony? So the GROW Foundation is a organization that provides scholarships for students at SVA, and it was started by four SVA alumni, including myself, in 1991 to help students. And um, the reason we decided to do that is because People helped us go to SVA. Uh, I don't necessarily know who they were, but I know I, we, we came from families that were financially challenged, and it was not easy to go to SVA. My mom, uh, four kids, is just not easy to do. So people helped make it possible for us. And so in 91, well, me and my friends, we were playing, playing Rook, which we learned at SVA, because <laughs> uh, we weren't allowed to play cards. And uh, we just talked about the blessing that SVA was and the difference it made, and we just wanted to find a way to give back. Now, today, some 30 plus years later, um, there are many people involved. Um, over $800,000 in, in funds provided for, in scholarships for students and endowments. And uh, it's a lot of fun helping students go here because we know, um, which I hope you know, uh, that Adventist education is expensive, but we also know that uh, it's worth the investment. And I've been blessed by it, and, and, and we have. And so we just want to help other students have the same things that we did. And you too, Mr. Litton. I mean, you went here as well. Right. I, and I, I believe in Adventist education. I had five children. All five went through here at Shenandoah. And uh, it's, it's not easy. I think uh, one of them, he didn't get his diploma until about uh, six years later that I finally had his bill paid off. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. anyway, it happens. And so how many uh, will be coming tonight approximately? So there are, at the moment, there are 23 students at SVA that are gross scholars re receiving scholarships. Some of them are sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Uh, and so they're all invited tonight. I don't know how many are coming. Uh, we have six new scholars that we just um, uh, chose, selected through the process uh, a week ago. And, and specifically tonight's event, we, we, try, you know, we try to encourage the students in a lot of ways. So there's funds that are you know, scholarships. Um, we just awarded 40, almost $45,000 in scholarships a week ago to the students, to students, and um, to seven students. Um, but, but more than the, the funds, we, you know, we, we come down here and take the kids out for, uh, for pizza and ice cream. And tonight's event, we were trying to uh, have these spiritual vespers for them. So we have a special guest speaker. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell who that is. Yeah, we have a special speaker that's coming in tonight that he'll be here in a few minutes. And uh, Pastor, who is that? Pastor Justin Kim. He's come down here. He is, uh, he's newly elected, but uh, so you may not know him as the editor of the Adventist Review. But he just started that in January, but uh, Pastor Kim is coming to speak just to the Grow Scholars, and they've been, they've been told they can bring a friend. So uh, we could have anywhere from 23 plus a friend, 46, but usually they don't all come. They have a lot of things going on, so that's, that's, the, that's the reason we're on campus tonight. Wow, that is exciting. All right, well, I, later on when uh, Justin Ken gets up there, I'll do a sh short clip of that part. But uh, right now I'll sign off here looking at the fireplace. And in fact, this is real gas fire. And it's not just a picture, so you can go up and get warmth. This is Ramblin' Rusty signing off.